Getting your first client on Fiverr has to be one of the most difficult things to do when you create a Fiverr account. In my previous videos, I showed you how to create a Fiverr account and how to create gigs. Now you are all set. What you need is your first client. The first client and your first review is what's going to give you an upper hand on Fiverr. Remember that on Fiverr, the more reviews you get, the more you are likely going to get more clients. So in this video, I'm going to share a couple of tips on how to get your first client when you start up on Fiverr. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Just so you know, I've been a freelancer for the past 6 years and I've been on Fiverr for more than 5 years now. So these are going to be some practical steps that I took to get to level 2 on my Fiverr platform. Let's get into the video. Now, the first step we're going to talk about is basically going to be what you probably might have come across optimizing your Fiverr profile. This has its roots in the gig creating process where you need to put keywords and things that are going to make sure that your gig appears in searches. You make sure that your description, your bio and everything in the gig up to the thumbnail that you're going to use is very catchy because that is what is going to compel people to click on your profile and ultimately give you a chance of getting your first client. The next thing I want to talk about is setting competitive prices. Competitive in this case is not going to be prices that are huge. You're going to look at the industry standard and the people that are doing well in your niche or your line of or your field of work. And then you are going to set prices that are reasonable. The key word here is reasonable. Now, when you start up on Fiverr and then you don't have any review, no one is going to pay you a huge amount of money or no one is going to trust you with a huge amount of money to work on their projects for them except of course you are bringing your people from another source like youtube facebook or any other platform which you are going to talk about later in this video but then if you are completely new and then you don't have any traffic bringing any people from anywhere you need to make sure that you don't compete with the industry standard people set your prices a bit low for instance if the highest person in your field is setting their prices around say 50 dollars per design or per work you need to set your prices way below that because they are trusted they have reviews people have worked with them and they are automatically going to be trusted with those amounts but for you you are new you need a new client you need new reviews or you need reviews so you need to set your prices a bit below now this is not going to mean that you are going to basically set very low prices but then I believe you are getting a point you set reasonable prices and as you build with reputation and trust you can definitely edit your prices to something that suits you the more the next point that i want to talk about is utilizing what was first known as the fiverr buyer request which is now known as the get matched many people when they start out don't really utilize this feature but it is one of the features that helps you get your first client easily and here's why there are people that are looking for talent or great people to work on their projects for them they place a match or they place their request over there and fiverr is going to send these notifications once in a while to you make sure that for any one of them that you receive you apply to it or you apply for it you don't know which one is going to work for you but then what it does is that anytime you reply to any of these get match or the buyer request maybe the person is going to respond to you back and it is going to build what is known as the response time the response time is one of the few things fiverr uses in rating you as a seller so make sure that you utilize that even if you are not getting the client or even if you are not getting the works it is going to really help build your response time which in the future is going to help fiverr push your gigs the more and who knows one of these is going to pick up and then you are going to get your first client from the buyer request or the get matched with buyers now you can forget about all that i've said so far this is the most effective way of getting your first client on fiverr and that is converting your current client to your fiverr client or these of your family and friends now if you're a designer you most probably have clients that you work with already i mean local clients you can reach out to any one of these people and perhaps propose to them that instead of working or paying you directly locally you need them to place their orders on fiverr in this case they already trust you and you've already worked with them 
so it wouldn't be that difficult to convince them because you need the first review understand that when it comes to fiverr if you have no reviews it will be very difficult for someone strangely out of nowhere to trust you with their project and that is why starting with the people that you've already worked with who already trust you is going to give you a huge advantage on the other hand you can speak to your family or friend to place an order for you say five dollars order you can speak to your friends or your family to place your first order for you so that you can get your first review now once you start getting reviews you realize that fire will start promoting or pushing your gigs and you eventually turn out to get more clients The last point that i would want to talk about and which i don't see many fiverr new fiverr clients do is promoting your gigs see like i mentioned in the beginning unless you are a celebrity or you have a very huge traffic maybe you have a blog or a youtube channel that brings a lot of people in you need to start promoting your gigs through your social media handle now i don't understand why people don't really want to promote their gigs through their social media handles because you don't pay anything for promoting your gigs so whether you're on instagram facebook twitter or any of these social media platforms just promote your fiverr gigs over there you don't know who is watching you don't know who needs your services just promote your fiverr gigs over there maybe this story is going to inspire you about 80 percent of the clients that i get on my fiverr accounts comes from my youtube channel you wouldn't believe that right and that is because i mostly post my fiverr links in the description of my youtube video so when someone watches my video and it's very helpful to them they can go into the description of my videos and then they can follow to my fiverr account and then we will get to work i've gotten clients from facebook by just sharing my fiverr gigs over there i've gotten clients from twitter by just promoting my fiverr gigs over there so what are you waiting for so yeah go ahead and promote your fiverr gigs on your social media after all, you're not going to be charged for it, right? And yes, those are some tips that are going to help you get your first client on Fiverr. Before then, don't forget that building a Fiverr account takes a lot of time and patience. You need to really take your time. There are times you're not going to get clients in like months and you need to really take your time. Once you get your first review and then subsequently you start getting reviews you are going to build your account and fiverr is going to push your gigs all by themselves there's going to be a time your gigs are going to run for certain keywords and you are going to get more reviews and more clients until then you can apply these tips and get your first client i hope you gained value out of this video if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated and in case you've not seen the video on how to create compelling gigs for your fiverr account you can check out my videos and check out the other videos as well Thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's Innocent here and bye.